the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Oh, you know, I wanted to, I, I, picking up again where we were, uh, work, reading the uh, chapter of the day for the uh, the Bible. We on, on TikTok, I'm doing one chapter. They're reading it and uh, discussing it. Uh, I, the approach, though, for the Old Testament, because it's, it's huge, it's long, is to uh, cover a week worth of chap, you know, like eight, eight to uh, eight chapters. Uh, and and why it's playing, the audio book is playing, I will, I may at times comment on something. And that may sometimes distract you from hearing, but focus on the reading when you get a chance. Not while you're driving, but while you're reading. But the point is, we want to say that we it could majority of the time you're going to hear what the reading of the scriptures are so that you can get to past that point where people sit there and say they have, uh, uh, to the point you say you have read the Bible. You want to read it over and over again if you can, but you definitely want to be able to read it uh, at least once, you know? Uh, and then you'll see the bigger picture of the Bible, the scriptures, if you do that. Uh, I want to get to the point where start looking at maps and, and regions and where these people actually uh uh, came from. So sometimes, and if I get if I get my uh, audio correct, what I want to do sometimes is to actually uh, insert pictures and maps to give a better picture. Like like, but I won't do it this time around. I didn't do it this time around. Far as the like Eden and so forth, but we can use some of these some of the regions now they're talking about, uh, and inside injecting some of those maps in there so you can take a look at them. Uh, not this 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 first set of eight, but uh, in the future. But that's what I'm saying. So sometimes I'll comment on a, a particular piece if I can, if I think I should, I will. If not, I'll just, let's just hear the word. You know, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God anyway, right? Uh, I just want sometimes if there's some key point, some foreshadowing of Christ, uh, I will bring those up, you know, or introductions of specific characters in the Bible that that will play a role or be linked to the New Testament. I think those things should be brought up, okay? Matter of fact, I may, I may just pause it and do it as well if I can. It just depends on how my uh, uh, audio system works out, okay? All right, well, God bless you. We're going to work on uh, Genesis chapter 37. And like I said, we do 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and maybe 44. Maybe 44. All right. And we, what I like to do is let's put those out on Sundays and on uh, Friday or Saturday for review. So because we we try to break these recordings on Sundays. Amen. All right. That's more of the time that I normally have. Uh, opposed to you know, the rest of the work week. All right, and let's see. I want to man, and one of the things too. Let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, why is it important for you to to read the uh, scriptures? I was looking at this before going to the uh, chapter. Look at this right here. Lifeway Research said, "How much of the Bible have people personally read?" And, and you can ask the question for yourself: How much you have personally read in the Bible? So this is an opportunity to to move this gap from almost half, over half of the people have not read much of the Bible. Uh, then there's a, then on the left-hand side, you got some half, some 12 percent. So let's let's tackle that and get to the point where you read it more than once. Incorporating your uh, Bible studies and so forth, I think it's worth it. I guarantee you'll love it if you get understand. That way when people are teaching the Bible or discussing the Bible, you, you got something to work with. A lot of cases that we're caught off guard and the enemy, just like the enemy, if the enemy came after Christ concerning the scriptures and tempting him, who, who are we? 
we we'll get tempted as well. So let's 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 bypass that and make sure we do what needs to be done. Because that I think that's critical. Is if we do what the word tells us to do, if we understand the word, then we make a difference. Amen. All right. So let's go ahead and uh start the message. We would have 37. And that's where we're picking up at. 37. And like I said, we'll go back 43 or 44. All right. God bless. Like I said, sometimes I'll be talking. If I if I see a comment I need to do, I will do that. All right. God bless you. Good year, Mike. Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family life. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers. He's a main character. Of Bilhah, and the sons of Zilpah, mm -hmm. his father's wives. And he brought their father a bad report about them. Mm. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons. Yeah, because his wife is back to him. born to him in his own day. Yes. And he made a richly ornamented robe for him. Mm. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, and don't forget that's Rachel. He, he loved Rachel. Did not speak a kind word to him. So Rachel was his first, Joseph his first love, angry. but Joseph was first born. For his that. Brothers, they hated him all the more. Say that he said to them, "Listen to this dream I have. Come on, man. Binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly." My sheep rose and stood upright, while your sheep gathered round mine and bowed down to it. His brothers said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? You almost wonder where Joseph even recognized that. Then he had another dream, and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said. It's another dream. And this time, the sun and moon and eleven stars were bowing down to them. When he told his father as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, What is this dream you have? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? Mm. His brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Amen. Now his brothers had gone to graze their father's flocks near Shechem, mm -hmm. and Israel said to Joseph, As you know, your brothers are grazing the flocks near Shechem. Come, I am going to send you. Very well, he replied. So he said to him, Go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flocks, and bring word back to me. Then he set him off from the valley of Hebron. When Joseph arrived at Shechem, a man found him wandering around in the fields and asked him, What are you looking for? He replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing their flock? They have moved on from here, the man answered. I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. But they saw him in the distance, and before he reached them, they plotted to uh, kill him. Yeah, I think Joseph says that. He comes that dreamer. They said, I mean, come on now. Come now. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Wow. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Wow. When Reuben heard this, he tried to rescue him from there. Oh. Let's not take his life, he said. Don't shed any blood. Throw him into this cistern here in the woods. But don't lay a hand on him. Reuben said this to rescue him from them and mm. take him back to his father. <laughs> so when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him on his robe. The rich new ornament of the robe he was wearing. Wow. And they took him and threw him into the system. He might either old the boy. Was empty. There was no water in it. Mm. As they sat down to eat their meal, 
they looked up and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead. Mm. Their camels were loaded with spices, balm, and myrrh, and they were on their way to take them down to Egypt. Judah said to his brother, David, if we kill our brother and cover up his blood, Look at Joseph. I mean, Judah, Ishmaelites, and not lay our hands on him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. And I am the man of Judah. <laughs> So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites, who took him to Egypt. Mm. When Reuben returned to the cistern and saw that Joseph was not there, he tore his clothes. He went back to his brothers and said, The boy isn't there. Then they got Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat, and dipped the robe in the blood. They took the ornamented robe back to their father and said, We found this. Examine to see whether it is your son's robe. He recognized it and said, This is my son's robe. Joseph has surely been torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and mourned for his son many days. All his sons and daughters came to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. Oh, he said, In mourning will I go down to the grave to my son. So his father went. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Midianites sold Joseph in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. At that time, you... yeah, that was interesting too. Just just to throw that at you, if the thing permits me to uh, catch up back and forth, Joseph. Not only was Joseph loved by his father don't keep in mind if, if you didn't remember rachel i mean uh rebecca no oh, rachel yeah rachel was was who uh joseph was in love with uh and he had to stay and work for having uh married her you know he did leah and uh rachel so, so that was the that was the interesting thing. I think it's Princess Rachel was not Rebecca. Uh, I think Rebecca was uh, Isaac uh, uh, or Jacob. Excuse me, was Jacob uh, wife? But anyway, they were the other. <laughs> Amen. But the point is that they, he loved them. He loved uh, Rachel. Uh, he therefore he loved Joseph because that was the first child. The second child she had was Benjamin. Uh, the interesting thing about the prophecies about uh, the, they will bow down to him in, in, in that dream and vision uh, came to light uh, as we could continue to read the uh, following chapter. But but you see it's setting the stage. But but you also catch the fact is that now Reuben, Reuben, the oldest, was the one trying to rescue the boy because they tried to get, you know, these, these are grown men. And and uh, we're talking here, Joseph was 17 years old. These grown men, you know, at least 20s and stuff like that. But they wanted to, uh, uh, they hated the young man out of jealousy. And, you know, that foreshadows when Cain hated and killed Abel because God respected Abel's offering. So you, it's, it's like a, you know, a, a cycle here where you see man and and despite the understanding, they should have understanding of the relationship with God, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, you know, and then obviously Jacob should know about it. And he passed that on to them, obviously. He, I'm pretty sure he did. And we don't see a reason why he wouldn't. But the uh, those other children 
despise, you know, Joseph because of his his uh, because of jealousy. Same thing that Cain did. You know, think about that. I don't know if you caught that before, but that's something to take a look at. So let's look at that. And then also just don't forget the fact is you saw Reuben was the oldest. He was trying to rescue the boy. Uh, I don't know why he left. You know, he should have just, he's oldest. He could have said, no, we ain't gonna kill our own brother. You know, and then don't forget Judah, which is a line of line of Judah, uh, which 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 became kind of line at the lineage of, of Christ. Uh came up with an alternative opposed to killing the young boy, you know. Uh, but they all plotted and schemed to try to take him out. So let's, let's continue to do that. I'm going to move the uh, to NIV version. I think it's, it has a little bit more into it. But let's continue on. So that's what I'm trying. I think I do it this way. This part works better. Take time in between chapters or in between sometimes verses. And and we uh, have a point. It's a major point that you brought out to bring it out. Amen. That way I won't interrupt you as much while the reading is going on. <laughs> God bless. Let's keep going. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. 